Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to add a vector design to a JPEG mockup in Adobe Photoshop. All right, let's get started. Okay, first we'll need to get a free mockup of a t-shirt. So let's go out to Unblast. Unblast has a lot of free resources. You just have to be careful and make sure to read the license before using them. Let's click on mockups here, and then I'm just going to type shirt. And here are a bunch of free mockups. These are from all over the web. I think uh, Unblast just curates them. Okay, and I'm really liking this little girl t-shirt. So I'm gonna click that. And then we'll come over here to free download. We'll have to wait for the download link. And then we can start download, which will take us to this site. And then we can download again. A lot of times with these free sites, you have to kind of jump through a few hoops before you actually get a real download link. All right, and we have to download again. Okay, this time something is actually downloading. Now, if you're on Chrome, this will come down to the bottom left and you'll be able to see it right here. And once it's done, you can just click on this little arrow and choose show in finder. And it'll come in as a zip file. If you're on a Mac, all you need to do is double click it. If you're on a PC, you'll wanna right click and extract all. Okay, and here is the file. I'm just going to drag it onto my Photoshop icon. Okay, now we'll need to open our vector artwork in Illustrator. So I'm going to use this design that I created, but if you don't already have a design created, you can use something from Vecteezy to practice with. That's vecteezy.com. So just be sure to read their licensing rules because they're also kind of strict about that. Okay, so here is my vector file. I'm gonna select everything and just copy it with Control C or Command C. Then I'll go to Photoshop and usually when you download these mockups, you'll have different layers. And there's one that'll say something like place artwork here, or it'll be highlighted red or something to show that this is where you're going to put the artwork. So we'll double click on this little smart layer. This little box here shows a little icon in the corner and that means it's a smart layer. So when you see that, you can double click and see what's inside. It's going to give us a warning about the fonts and we don't need to worry about that. So I'll say don't resolve. And then here are all the little pieces of this design. Okay, so I'm going to paste mine in with Command V, Control V on a PC, and we'll paste as a smart object. We'll say, okay. Okay, now I'm going to resize to about the size of this part of the t-shirt. This is going on the lower part, and I don't really have anything like that in my design, so we won't, we'll kind of ignore that. Okay, so I'm going to hold Option or Alt on a PC and grab the corner and drag it in. This will resize it from all sides. And that is looking pretty good. I'll hit Return. Now I'm going to select all of these other parts of their design and delete them. I'll click on the first one and hold Shift and click on the last one and then hit the Delete key. I'll get back on my design and kind of center it in the space. And then I can see that maybe it's not gonna show up or look very nice, but we can always just check that. So I'm going to save this. This is a PSB file and that is what a smart object is made of. So if you save that and get out, it will update in the mockup. All right, it looks like I made the design a little too big. So let's go back into the smart object by double clicking. And I'm gonna hit Command T or Control T on a PC to resize. I'm going to hold Option and drag a corner and I'll hit Return. And I also want to um, change some of the colors. So I'm going to double click on my Vector Smart object. You can see this is also a smart object. We'll double click and make some changes there. Now this is opening in Illustrator. So you can see it says Vector Smart Object and it's not the same file as your other one. So you don't need to worry about overwriting that. I'm going to click on I and I'm just going to select the same fill of color. That'll get everything that's dark gray and I'm gonna change this to white. So I'll double click on the color and then I'll come right up here and drag to the furthermost corner to get white and say, okay. I think I'll change the green to a dark pink. So I'm gonna do the same thing there. Just select same fill of color and we'll make that kind of a a darker purple. Okay, now all I have to do is save this document and then come back to Photoshop and you can see it's updated it. 
Now I'll save this document and get out of that by hitting Command W or Control W on a PC. And now we have a perfect design. This looks great. Now this mock-up is built so that you can easily change the shirt color if you want. So to do that, I'll double click again on my smart object and I'll get on this layer. Now I'll choose um, this color over here in my swatches. And so now it's my fill color and I can hit option delete or alt delete on a PC. And we'll save that and close it. And now our shirt color has been updated. We'll need to move it up just a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit low, so we'll have to come back into the smart object to do that. I'll get on my vector smart object and just click and drag, move it up just a little bit and we'll save and close that one. And now it's up where I like it. All right, and that is how to easily add your design to a mock-up. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.